Hi, my name is Tejinder. I'm a residential assistant at Queen's Accommodation and I'm also a student at Queen's University. I study dentistry. This year I'm living at Elms BT1, so I've become quite the expert on this building. In Elms BT1, we have three towers called Core A, Core B, and Core C. So we're going to show you one of the apartments in Core B. So just follow me. As you can see, we have to access it with our fobs. So there's a set of elevators over here. So come on in, we're going to go into this elevator. So we're now we're in Core B, so I'm going to show you one of the apartments. So this is a five bedroom apartment. Elms BT1 has three bedrooms, four bedrooms, five bedrooms, six bedrooms, and studios. So this is a five bedroom apartment. So first we'll go into the social space and just show you the kitchen and the living room. So this kitchen is very big because uh, this is a five bedroom, so we have two of everything. So as you can see here, we have a sink, and then another sink, and then we have two ovens, and we have two of every utensil and appliances that we get. And then we have two fridges on that side. So this is our kitchen, it's like pretty big and spacious. And then along with that is the living area. So we have couches, a TV. All the TVs in Elms BT1 and Elms BT2 are smart TVs. So you can watch Netflix, YouTube, Amazon, all of those things. You can watch all of that on this. So that's really convenient. Um, really bad for my study schedule, but very good otherwise. So yeah, so this is a very nice social space. Um, people all can gather around, it's very comfy, you can watch a movie together with your flatmates. Um, and also, this notice board is really important because sometimes uh, residential assistants will come in and put on posters of upcoming events, so you can look on your poster board to see if there's any new poster been put up. Um, and we will just come up, put up the poster and leave. That's basically what our job is, and then you can see if there's any events or trips that you might want to go to. So. Now we'll take you into uh, one of the bedrooms. So now we're gonna see one of the rooms in this apartment. As soon as you walk in, you can see that we have our bed here. So this bed is actually called a large single. That's the size of the bed. It's not a double, it's not a single. It's like kind of in between. The bed does have a lot of storage. So the first thing you can see here is that there's drawers at the edge of the bed. But along with that, on the other side of the bed, if you lift the mattress, there's another little box of storage where you can put like your luggage or handbags that you might have or extra clothes or something. All of that can go in there. So there is a lot of storage space um, just within your bed itself. So utilize that. And then we have our desk over here. The desk also has a lot of storage space around it, like these drawers. Um, and compartments for you to keep all your stationery or books or anything you want. Um, the chair is really comfortable, which I like. It's already cushioned, so that's really convenient for when you have those long, long nights of studying or finishing up assignments. And then up here, we have shelves for books, decorations. I have a little snack shelf, stuff like that, whatever you want. We have a lot of shelves and storage up there. And then along with that, we have a lot of outlets for you to plug in your electrical things, like we have two over here, two over there, so that's four. And then there's two right down here next to your bed. So there's a lot of uh, places for you to plug in all your electrical appliances. Um, and there's also two ethernet cables right by your desk. But along with that, there's Wi-Fi in the whole building that you get uh, notified about right when you move in. So it's all really set up for you before you even come here. And then, over here we have our cupboard. So there's a lot of cupboard space because they have these compartments and then there's side compartments for shoes or whatever you want. So there's a lot of space over here as well for your clothing. There's hangers as well. And then each uh, bedroom in Elms BT1 has their own bathroom. It's all en suite. Um, so you can see here that there's a shower, sink and toilet. Everything's in here. So the bathroom, um, it's very like it's already attached into your bedroom so you don't have to actually leave your bedroom to go to the washroom at night or anything. Uh, each room in Elms BT1 is the same size. So none of them are premium en suites or different like that. All of them are the same size, uh, except if you're in a studio, which is obviously different. One last thing before we leave the room is turning on the heater. So we know that sometimes Belfast can get really cold and heating your room is very important. In Elms BT1, they do not turn on the heating for your room automatically, it's up to everybody to do their own rooms. So if you see here, we have a little box that sets your radiator, so you can turn it on, and then you can set the time for how long you want the heat to be on for. So this is up to you, so if you like a colder room, you don't need to turn it on, but if you like a warm room, you can leave it on for two hours. The radiator will turn on for two hours and automatically shut down after that, and your room will be heated up. So that's all up to you about how long you want the heat to be on for.